Hey, I'm Kristen. And I'm Heather. Welcome to, to the, the Marthaverse. Marthaverse. In each episode, we invite you to join us into the homes and hearts of Martha fans all around the world. Well, hi. Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. Amazing. So who do we have today? John Recor. Huh? Lives in Florida. <gasps> Amazing. We're going to Florida? Well, not today. It's a oh. video submission, but it's really impressive. You okay. do not want to miss this. Can't wait to see it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Martha Manor. Come on in for a tour. This house was built in 2012 and is actually a partnership that Martha Stewart had with a national home builder. So it is actually designed with the Martha Stewart brand aesthetic. One of the things I loved about building this house was actually the kitchen. I got to design the kitchen with the Martha Stewart aesthetic, which was amazing. It enabled me to display whiteware. I mean, could this kitchen look more like a TV set? And yes, my big quest while I was at the Martha Stewart tag sale was I wanted a cake stand. Anybody find a cake plate yet? That's all I need. Is that what you're looking for? I'm looking for a Martha Stewart cake plate, yes. I have about 75 of her cake plates. The bookshelf behind me was actually specifically designed to hold Martha Stewart cookbooks in addition to some other cookbooks, but I'm not gonna lie, it was mainly to display my Martha Stewart cookbook collection. These jars were the first items I actually picked up while I was at the sale. These were featured actually on a TV set of Martha's. They were actually on her original weekly television show, Martha Stewart Living. Over here I have different collections from Macy's, I have Martha by Mail, I have some Kmart items thrown in, I really have it all. Um, and these are some of my most cherished items because they're the ones that you use every day. You've all heard of Flat Stanley, well, I have my own version. She's called Multitasking Martha. You never know where she's gonna be, and you're never gonna know what project she's working on. And sometimes when you walk by her in the kitchen, she hands you this. This area I use every day. Um, you'll notice that on this table, I actually have various collections of Martha's. I have some Waterford Crystal. I have some Macy's collection, dinnerware, uh, for the spring. And then I actually have some vintage Kmart flatware. And again, Martha's all about using things in different ways. So this is actually a cutting board that I'm using as a Lazy Susan. One of my favorite rooms in the home, and probably the most saturated with Martha Stewart products, is my craft slash office. So in this room, I have all of my craft supplies very neatly organized. As you can see, I have a few paints and glitters. Uh, any tool that Martha's probably produced in the last 25 years is here. And what's a craft room without a gift wrap station? Anybody who has followed Martha Stewart for years knows how you fold a towel. These towels all folded in threes because you never know when you're going to get house guests and you never know when you have to have fresh linens. Oh yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. Wall to wall, whiteware, and Martha Stewart dinnerware. And the garage is fully equipped with Martha Stewart products from the potting station to the faux bois planter. So one selling feature of this home was the huge walk-in closet. Uh, this closet is designed with Martha Stewart and California closets, and I have to say I couldn't be more proud. Martha Stewart hangers, they're amazing. Totally worth the investment because it gives that uniform look in the closet. What's a Martha Stewart closet without Martha Stewart tote bags? That's right, the Croco tote bag. Yes, this is my laundry room. Uh, I use many Martha Stewart good things in this room. And again, one of the most popular Martha Stewart good things is the decanting of dish detergent into a nicer bottle. Next to me, you'll see this really amazing built-in media suite. This is actually Martha Stewart kitchen cabinets from the Home Depot. I couldn't figure out what to do with this space because the way the home was built, and it really needed built-ins. And so when I saw that she did these kitchen cabinets, I thought, well, I could possibly use those in a different way. And I really sort of put on my Martha Stewart thinking cap. I actually designed this and I love it. I have to say it's perfect for the space. It lightened up the space. Uh, I followed another Martha Stewart fan, Bernie Wong Green, and he's always finding great things at thrift stores. And I actually just found three Martha Stewart everyday bowls at a thrift store. Pretty nice, you want that? I can't find a cake plate, so I have to get that. Here it is. This is the infamous pewter teapot that was from Martha's Place at Skylands and that she actually signed for me which I love. Funny story about this is when I asked her to sign it for me, I asked her to sign it across the front and she said, oh no, that is not okay. You can only sign it at the bottom because you'll still want to use the teapot. All of the artwork in this dining room is actually photography taken by Martha Stewart herself 
and it's actually signed and numbered because they are a very, very limited edition. Any Martha fan will notice that there is some faux bois planters. I've actually been looking for this copy for many, many years to get a signed one. So this is almost as good as a cake plate. The Martha Stewart's Entertaining Book. I was so excited to find this book, not because I didn't own it already, because I do have all 99 of her books, but it's because I never had a signed copy of this book, and I love a signed copy. Second page in, there it was. So thank you everybody for stopping in Martha Manor so you could get a glimpse at just some of the things that I have that is all Martha. You never know, one day this could be a Martha Museum because I have that many products. And again, a Martha branded house. See you later. Oh my goodness, two words, Martha Manor. Wow. Have you ever seen anything like that in never. your life? Never. I... And I feel like I learned so much, but I feel like I have way more questions Absolutely. than answers. Absolutely. We've Shay. got his number, let's connect with we him. We need to connect with John. All right, so we've got John on the phone. Well, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm honored to be here. So what brings us here together today is a shared love of Martha. Uh, very much so. When did Martha so. first come into your life? So when I was 16, my first job was at Kmart. Kmart presents At Home with Martha Stewart. I actually knew who she was. So keep in mind, this was in 1992 or three. I knew who she was. And I had see, you know, had seen the magazine, all of those type of things, because my aunt was a big fan. And but people, I was cashiering, right? right. And so I would see all this stuff come through, and I'm like, this doesn't look like things you'd buy at Kmart. Yeah. I then got more interested in who she was because I was seeing all of these great products. The design was great. It wasn't filled with all of these florals that you know were maybe ten years prior. At that time, it was all about. I can only afford to get something made for the next couple of years. And yes. she somehow created quality at an affordable price point. And that is hard to mesh in your brain. Yeah. With her brand and with her, you always knew that there was an editing process. And so there was, there was a hands-on approach to what she was doing because nobody was doing collaborations at that time. And so I would always volunteer to go to that section because I was just like, okay, this is the section where I would appreciate it most. And then I started watching the weekly show and I'm like, you could learn something new almost every week with her, but also just, it didn't have to be expensive to look amazing and to feel amazing and living the best way you possibly could. John, yeah. one thing you I don't know, and I kind of need to add this in, I am, I'm only recently being introduced to the Martha world. Oh, and well, so, welcome. And, yeah. I, and I'm absolutely, every single day, I'm like, where have I been? I've been under a rock. <laughs> and just hearing you explain it, I'm like, oh my gosh, how did you, how did you see that then? That's such an amazing gift, and you did. Yeah. That's incredible, and you're describing it perfectly. I love doing the holidays, big. I mean, you really need to visit during the holidays. Okay. It's a little, it's, it's fine. Were you going to ask me it's twice? Because right. you didn't need to. <laughs> Anytime. Okay. She was like the first person to talk about using ornaments in different ways, you know, putting them in cake domes or in uh, beautiful vases and things like that. And I think that's the thing that I really, about the brand itself now, that as I've grown older and grown up with the brand, I really, really have grown to appreciate. And I've been able to use her products in ways that through her recommendation, because she's very big on, yes, this may be a plate or a platter, but it doesn't mean you just use it to serve something. It can be to display something. It can be wall art, like I have in my kitchen nook. It can yeah. be anything. Uh, and so I think that really hit, really intrigued me because it was some way you could, you know, reinterpret it on your own, even though I didn't create the item. Now, you uh, have a unique Martha connection. We would love to hear about it. Uh, well, uh, I first met her, uh, I think, when I was on the show, uh, her Martha Stewart show for her Halloween show. And it was the first season of the, that, of the Martha Stewart show when she had a live studio audience. And I'm a big Halloween person. I love Halloween. And so I thought, okay, let's come up with something fun because they asked us, ever, all audience members, to dress in costume. I have to say it was one a, a magical experience. And you know, we got to go in a little early and we got to check out the set. When you walked on that set, is that when you realized, I'm not just a fan, I'm a super fan? When did you make the switch? Because there is, it's a slight delineation, but it's important. Mm -hmm. Part of it was that that the 
that the things that she was showing on the show were exactly how she was living. And I think that that was the connection I had. So mm -hmm. when I walked onto that set, I, I thought, wow, like you could really recreate this yourself and it would be very easy to me to do it. Yeah, and it felt like home. Yeah. It did feel like home. And, and also she was self-made. You know, I think that, yeah. that was another thing for me that it was somebody who wasn't, who was willing to say, this is what my vision is and stick to the vision and not be concerned if somebody didn't agree with it. That's who she is. And Absolutely. you can back it up. You know, there's a lot of people who have that personality or that persona who can't back it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. but, but I will say, so that day when I, she came up. John. Hello. <laughs> she was totally engaging. And at that day, she called me a maniacal costumer. These uh, maniacal costumers really know exactly what goes into each and every costume, don't we? We certainly do. And to this day, my friends call, call me that, which I is it's a I wear it as a crown. Magic honor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I've been called a lot worse. Yeah. I, oh, I have. Yeah, let's I don't know. yeah, John. Let's talk Great American Tag Sale. Oh my gosh, it could. It was so much fun. It looks amazing on TV but it just looked lawless in person. Yes, right. every single person was a, a professional, but nice and accommodating and right. not intimidating. Yeah, we, we felt welcome. I will say the most organized tag sale, I mean, everything was pristine, everything, and you just, you wanted to take everything off the table, basically, and you had to be like, yeah. what do I really need? And how, will I use this? Will this just be something I could just, I'm just buying today because I'm here? But I will tell you, when I, by the time I got there, there was absolutely no cake stands. And you know what was, the, the thing that was interesting is I missed the third building until the very end when I was there. And so that's where I made the trek up and then I came back with the big Martha sign that I have. So did you interact with her at the tag sale? I did. She was just walking in and couldn't have been more engaging, couldn't have been more engaging with the entire sale, in fact. You didn't feel she was there for a television show at all. You felt because she genuinely could tell you everything about every item that, that was there. She could tell you when she bought it or where she, what home she had it in, or if it was from the offices or if it was from the TV studios. And it was just really amazing. Okay, you hit on something important and uh, it's a good transition. You love the fact that not only were there items there, but the items had a story. Yes. And that I think is kind of the universal mm -hmm. thread, right? With tag sales and estate sales, it's not just the thing, it's the story that you can tell or you can hear about the thing. So, as, as I mentioned, I'm new to Martha World. This is part of my midlife pivot and I am all in. We So we listened to the, her podcast um, about super fans and she interviewed super fans, Bernie Wall Green and the Martha Moments Instagram and blog. And it was really fascinating. Incredible. And I'm a fan of super fans. I can't get enough. Now, in your experience as a super fan, right, have you met any of these? I've actually met the two folks that you've mentioned uh, from Martha Moments and Bernie Wall Green. I met them at the tag sale. Okay. And I have to say, uh, Andrew from Martha Moments has been great. We've been communicating a lot. You know, he's up in Canada. Couldn't be sweeter. Um, and he's been doing it for a really long time. And I love waking up in the morning and put, pulling up Instagram and seeing what he's posted. Yeah. And Bernie Wong Green has been fantastic. I mean, he was so much fun at the sale. They had a trailer. I mean, it was amazing. Oh, and I heard that. I have one more request though. If Martha oh, is watching. Yeah. Actually, two requests if Martha is watching. Okay. I still never got that cake plate. Oh, <laughs> oh you need one. one. You don't want to need a cake plate. If she doesn't have the cake stand for me, yeah. Has anybody seen the Martha Stewart action figure? Uh, what? stop, stop it yeah. right now. Okay, so 19 Crimes did a promotional action figure with Martha Stewart, and they are impossible to find. Wow! Look look <laughs> oh my God! Look, look at Martha. Hi, Martha. <laughs> Let's cook some cookies. <laughs> Come on, Martha. I'm willing to pay. I mean, I know yeah. there's a charity that needs the money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Martha Verse, you yeah. have it. Do you so, have a Martha action figure? Your action figure. I love it. Have no oh idea. My gosh. So if Martha's watching, John, anything you would say to her? I would thank her for a wonderful, wonderful company, actually. Yeah. And, oh, in a broad cool. sense. And and just really being true to who she is. Yeah. And but also educating us all. 
because I think she has, over her span of her career, shown us ways to do things ourselves that we never thought possible. And creativity is limitless. And don't let anybody dissuade you from what your vision is, because that's when you go wrong. Yes. All right. If you if you're listening to John's stories and you're thinking, I I too have had an experience, a Martha moment, something to share, a story to share, a Martha story to share. Yeah. Please, please, please comment because not only do Heather and I want to see it, John wants yeah, to see absolutely. it. Well, I totally want to see it. it. This is yes. this is the thread that connects us. The Martha verse. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is the joy thread that connects us, and we really, really, truly want to hear it. John, thank you so much for connecting with us. Thank this you, was John. so great. And I love hearing all about your experiences and your inspiration and your joy. So much joy from her. And it's fantastic. We we'll really hope we get to keep in touch with you. Thanks, John. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. that was unbelievable. So cool. Thanks so much to John and his partner, Daniel, for welcoming us into Martha Manor. It's amazing, and your collection is exquisite. You have beautiful taste, and we've really enjoyed spending time with you. Thank you for having us, and you've inspired us. Yes, he's got a solid spot in the Marthaverse. Absolutely, he's yeah. wonderful. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you have a heartwarming, inspirational, humorous, or downright interesting Martha Stewart experience, or if you have Martha moments, we would love to hear from you. Drop us a line at themarthaverse at gmail.com. You can also follow us on social media at themarthaverse on Instagram and TikTok. And we'll be sharing exclusive content, behind the scenes, moments, and updates for future episodes. If you've enjoyed what you saw today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share the video with family and friends and leave us a comment to say hello. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Kristen. And I'm Heather. And we can't wait to see you in, in the Marthaverse. I know it's early for you, but <laughs> it's shard o'clock here. Uh, and he's been doing it for a long, long time. And you just walked in the shop. They're not recording, are they? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we are, but that's okay. <laughs>